Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Billy Joe Johnson Jr.'s family and friends will have to wait well into the new year for answers about the death of the George County football star. After meeting with Johnson's family today, District Attorney Tony Lawrence says he expects the investigation into the 17-year-old's death last week to be completed in January and the case to be presented to the grand jury in February. Johnson died of a gunshot wound a week ago after being stopped by a George County deputy for a minor traffic violation. Since then, rumors and speculation about the circumstances of his death have been swirling. Today, authorities released the deputy's official statement of what he says happened that day. Sylvia Hall has details on that in the family's meeting with the DA. It's tonight's top story. For a week now, the family of Billy Joe Johnson has been struggling to understand how and why the 17-year-old died. They came to the Jackson County Courthouse hoping for some answers in a private meeting with District Attorney Tony Lawrence. It was a very good meeting with the family today, um, very informative, um, thorough, and uh, you know, the investigation is still ongoing. Our family understands that. The Johnson family has turned to the NAACP to help make sure every question about their son's death is answered. George County NAACP President Willie Gaines is representing them. Mr. Lawrence, he assured them that they have done everything possible to see that if anything other than what was speculated said happened, you know, to bring it to life. Authorities have released the incident report filed by the deputy who stopped Johnson December 8th. Deputy Sullivan stated he stopped Johnson after seeing the team run a stop sign. When he pulled Johnson over, the deputy says Johnson got out of his truck and explained he ran the stop sign because he was on his way home because his mother was sick. The deputy states he told Johnson to get back in his truck, and while the deputy was radioing in a license number, he heard a gunshot and glass breaking. According to the deputy's statement, he, quote, looked up and the black male fell on the ground and the gun he had in his hand fell on top of him. Deputy Sullivan says he told dispatch the subject had just shot himself and asked for help. The investigation takes time to complete and I uh, encourage people to avoid speculation and rumors and let the investigation be completed. But the NAACP says more questions need to be answered. That's why an independent autopsy will be done. The family should know their son better than anyone. And they do not believe that their son uh, taking his own life. In Pascagoula, Sylvia Hall, WLOX News. And the family declined to comment on today's meeting.